I can talk to people and be able to serve you. You know, I don't want to this. I don't know how what he'll do, but I did put that on to it. I said, that's the only thing. Because eating right, we had to eat what we had. And I can't say it was the food. So what was it? God Almighty. He says, I'm not through with you yet. So he's not through with you yet. He's not through with you. He don't take you. He don't do nothing until you get uh, until he finished with you. You got work to do. You, got, you can sit right there. Yeah. Yeah. Even and wave your hand. Something like that. Raise up your hand. You don't even know why. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 My real question is, Lord, when is the baby going to come? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But that's all right. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I want to live, but if I'm going to live, let me be strong. But, but, but he, Jesus. yeah. But see, it's funny. I, I'm going to sit down. I'm being truthful. Pastor, I am going to sit down. But it's very funny. But we, we tell God what we want to say. Listen, no. too. But he didn't. He's tired of me. No, he don't get tired of He said, right. tell him. But uh, when we say, Lord, I want, but see, when God's taking you, it's already destined. destined. And you, you, before you were born, it's already played. Right. Play. No, That's where you're going, he knew you're going to be sitting here today. Mm-hmm. Today. Mm-hmm. Sitting here. And what we want to do, we want to change God's mind. Mm-hmm. I, want, I want to go this way. That's right. He's there. That's right. <laughs> 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 you know, me, you go anyway, but he's and when you go that way, you run into pro- a lot of problems. You may go problem this way, but this is how he designed. He wants you to go like that. He wants you to go like that, and it might be some little rocks in the road, whatever it is, but go like that. That's why it's good to to, to talk to God and let Him direct your path. He said, "I tell you, I tell you where to walk." Uh-huh. And I tell you, Samuel, okay. that no, that nobody else. But we want to tell God. Now I don't feel like doing it today, Lord. Or uh, maybe tomorrow, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Broad is the path that leads to destruction, but straight and narrow is that way that All leads right. to life. All yeah. Right. Well, thank you for that. No, they didn't have to. They didn't have to. Oh, they didn't have to. No, because he's told me. Amen. Let's give a hand. Well, that's true, yeah. I want to say something. I want to turn this over to you. I praise you. I got to praise you today. Oh, hallelujah. So, you said prayer. Father, in heaven. We give you all the praise, all the glory, because you open up your life so we could live and have eternal Jesus. Yeah. We want to thank you for Jesus, what you've done at the cross for us. Mm-hmm. You make us worthy to receive what you have given us, the gifts that you've given us. Mm-hmm. We ask this in Jesus' name. Bless everyone here. And we thank you for the midst of the Holy Ghost. We want to invite the Holy Ghost to come in here. Mm-hmm. We want to let the Holy Ghost know that you are welcome to come in here. You're welcome to take control of every situation here. But we're, yes. we're worthy right, to take the situations here under you. Do what you want. Mm-hmm. So we give God all the praise and all the honor. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. So now I want to, I want to, we got special guests, but I, I want uh, Dante to come up and to introduce, yes, and read uh, some introduction for us before I get, uh, before we had to do the praise. I just read accounts of the divine help. The first one is called. I'm a gold book member and I have just been blessed with $2,000.
Pennsylvania, give prayer ministry. How do I praise God for ministry? I am a Gold Book member, and I write to you often for prayer. A few months ago, I received a letter from you which had a prayer clock in it. I read the letter and carefully followed the instructions. Friend, thank you. In this letter, you told me to tell the amount of money I needed God to bless me. I needed exactly $2,000. In less than 30 days, the Lord answered my request. I went to the mailbox and found a check for exactly $2,000. Never in all my life have I had an all of a sudden blessing like this. Here is my gold, here's my gold book seed gift to help with all the things your ministry has done for God. Another account I'm going to read is called Off Journey. Virginia, dear prayer ministry, this is an answer to our prayers. When we started to pray for my son, he was on drugs and alcohol and tobacco and not saved. But since we have been praying for him, God has removed the cravings of drugs and he is not on drugs now. Please keep praying for him, also his wife. Knock, knock, and it shall, knock, and it shall be open until you St. Matthew 7. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. All right. Now we're going to go to praise. I want to introduce you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, would you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about this book? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Yep. Yes, from nobody. I don't know, maybe, maybe about 10, 12 years ago, I know it's terrible for a place to work. I work at Taco Bell. You know, like I tell the people, they say, you know me from Taco Bell. You remember me? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> now, yes, I do. Now, the you thing is, is that God had me do different journeys. So we're still around. And no matter what, I praise him. Um, I have a song here I'm going to dedicate to you because I dedicate this song to my Mother, you're 93 years old. My mother's 93 years old. Oh, All right. right. Here. She's in New York. Yeah. 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 Then the ultimate thing about it is I was with my daughter. She misplaced her cell phone. They went to the roller skating rink in Long Beach. And she accidentally didn't realize that it must have been in the bathroom. So she comes home that, is that night telling us I lost my phone. My wife, she's getting restless, goes, oh dear, her phone has to calm down. God has it in control. So I mentioned to my daughter, I said, it's a possibility that the phone is still inside the location. And she would try to call the phone and the phone is just ringing, ringing, ringing. We went there yesterday morning, but before we headed there, Presence of God said to me, tell her to call the place in case somebody's there early in the morning. It'll be open at that time. So, glory to God. She called. She gave the individual the information about her phone that she left it there the night before. And he mentioned to her, Yes, I have the phone here. So, I said to her, Let him know that we are on our way to get the phone. So, now we're heading back home. As we're, getting, as we're getting to the house, and I'm walking in, my wife says to me, calm down, there's nothing wrong. She said, we just got a call from New York, it was your cousin, and she said, don't worry about it, mom, it's okay. I said, well, praise God for that. But little to know what it was, was an old school classmate of mine. This goes back 19... Saying maybe 1970 at the, at the latest, and it was an old school friend of mine from elementary school. Well, not elementary school, let me see. Yes, I guess it was elementary school, maybe middle school. Now, this is already 50 some odd years ago. I knew we grew up together in the same neighborhood, 
His older brother was a classmate of mine when we used to study martial arts. He passed on when he went to move back to uh, Puerto Rico. He was swimming in a lake and he drowned as his older brother. Mm -hmm. But I lost track of my classmate, which his name is Israel. He, he was diligent in trying to find me. He kept calling. He went on the internet and found the family line, the names. So he happened to call my younger cousin, but she was, she thought it was a prank, you know, somebody making it. So uh, my older sister, my older cousin, her older sister happened to hear the fella mentioning names. My, my other classmate, my mother's name, and then he had a, I, I had given him a nickname. That's from all those years. In Spanish, it's called cara sucia. That means dirty face. <laughs> so now, dirty face, when I was, when I gave him that supposedly nickname, it wasn't that he had a dirty face. What it was, was he had a face full of freckles. He was mm. real <laughs> right. right. So now, with our Spanish you know, dialect, or our Spanish tongue, that was the nickname that I had given him. So now yesterday, he says, it's been a blessing. This Saturday, it's been a blessing. Yeah. And I said to him, sure enough, it is. He and I, we touched base. We lost track of each other all these years. But you was diligent to try to find me. But what it was, I couldn't find you because I didn't have no lead. I didn't know you was back home. He returned back to Puerto Rico where he originally came. He's living there with his wife. So um, what I want to say is that God knows the reason for everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here in your presence as an accident. It was what the Holy Spirit wanted yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for being obedient. Yeah. Obedient to the calling that is always been with me. As God leads me. Follow. Mm -hmm. God has blessed me to play instruments like this. I have played in the public circuit. I have played jazz. I have played reggae. I have played blues. And it wasn't about money. And it wasn't about fame. It's just what God had put in me. Now, sometimes people see me play the instrument and they say, wow, you don't need to be in Taco Bell. I said, don't you think I know that? <laughs> <laughs> but I have a family to take care of, that's right. okay? So that's how I do it. And like I said, it's not the money. Sometimes people ask me, oh, how can you afford to take care of your children or this? And I said, listen, it's not the money. I said, you see me? I am richer than what you think. And they said, what do you mean by that? I said, I'm richer than what you think because what's in me? Nobody can buy it. <laughs> What's in me, nobody can walk in my shoes right. from what the Lord has brought me from to whatever he has ahead for me. Yeah. So I just want to be obedient and I give God the praise yeah. and I want to ask blessing on all of you yeah. for being in the midst because the Holy Spirit is truly here. Yeah. Okay, so, like I said, I'm just a nobody but trying to help everybody. So, God be the glory. Amen. This is the song that I'm going to sing. It's for you and for all your ladies yeah. in there. The name of the song is called Hello Mother. Hello Mother. And it goes like this. Hello Mother. And you'll say Hello Mother. Hello Mother. Hello Mother. Hello Mother. Hello Mother. I made it over. I made, I made it, it over. over. Sometimes I have to cry. Sometimes I have, I have to cry. cry. But he wiped the tears from my eyes. But he wiped, he wiped the, the tears, tears from my eyes. I made it over. I made, I made it, it over. over. I made it over. I made, I made it, it over. over. And I'm all right now. And I'm all right now. I'm going to get it. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. I made it over. I made it over. I made it over. Sometimes I have to cry. Sometimes I have to cry. But he wiped tears from my eyes. And I made it over. And I made it over. Now I'm alright now. And I'm alright now. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs>
If he you got a Bible, who, who needs a Bible? At the beginning, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise and glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he has abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made unto, known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he has purposed in his self, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are in the earth, even in whom. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, 
being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the first to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Keep going. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of his glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him on his own right hand in heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and has put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. All right. Praise the Lord. God bless Amen. the reader. God bless the reader. Right. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to be very brief because we are only here for an hour. So I think we wound up some time. But I just want to go for now to the 10th verse of the of, 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 of God's word. Um, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together and one all things in Christ. All things in Christ. Both which are in heaven and which are on earth. Amen. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Oh, oh. All things. All things. All things. There's an end. That's right. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. This is important to us yes. because this is the reconciliation work of God. Oh, God. God wants to reconcile hmm, yeah, come on. the world unto himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I hear the amen? Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And that's why we go through the things that we go through and why we know people. I was in the Dunkin' Donuts the other day and the man came to me and says, Oh, you have to be separated from the people around you. Act like the world. And I said, oh my God, I'm in the world. Oh, yeah. I'm not of the world. Right, God. right. God wants to put me on display. God wants to put you on display. Yeah, that's right. Oh, glory to God, so others yeah. can see. That's yeah. right. You're right. He will set you on fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 2. I believe it's Hebrews 12 and 2. Do I open this right now? At 12 and 29. 12 and 29. Hebrews 12, 29. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 12, 29. For our God is a consuming fire. God is a consuming fire. <laughs> God is a consuming fire. God is light. Oh, glory to God. God the Holy Ghost is a consuming fire. He's, a, he's fire. He will set you on fire. To be, stand before someone and tell them about the Lord, or you don't even have to tell them about it. You on display. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. God is using you. You ask why you feel uncomfortable. Because God is a consuming fire. All people say, I don't want to make that bad for me. You do. <laughs> God is a consuming fire. There you go. Amen. 
God is reconciling the world. He's using you and me. That's right. Glory. Hallelujah. There's a, I want to talk a little bit about the core. Uh, this fire. We know that fire. God uh, tells us in uh, first well, Malachi 3 and 11. Find that one too. Malachi 3 and 11. But while you're looking for that, I just want to say that Daniel says in 11.35, and some of the, the wise shall stumble. Now, this is some of the wise people that are walking in the path of, he said, but I'm going to make them stumble so that they may be refined in the fire. Mm -hmm. So you wonder right. sometimes how you walk and then you may stumble. That's on purpose. God puts that so that he can refine you. He says here, and some of the wise shall stumble so that they may be refined, purified, and made white. Amen. God is making us even whiter and brighter and putting us on display. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I know this is right. The Bible says that can you want to get uh, that scripture? Uh, 311. Mm -hmm. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. Keep going. Oh, and all nations shall call you blessed, for you are a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against you? You said, it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? Amen. And now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. Then they that feared the Lord spake often to one another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Is that good? There's a book over your sin. Of remembrance. Mm -hmm. God is writing a book of remembrance. Yeah. All glory to God. Is your name in the book of remembrance, God? Have you mm -hmm. gone through the fire? Have you gone through the fire? Have you been refined? God's purpose is he's going to refine us mm -hmm. because scriptures tell us in Proverbs that of three cords, three cords are stronger. Oh my God, have mercy. A threefold cord is not easily broken. Not easily That's what it says. Broken. A mm -hmm. threefold cord is not easily broken. So we have to be close to God. We have the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, which is bringing us into this fire so we can be a part of this threefold uh, network here. God wants to bring us into this threefold network. God wants to bring us to be not so easily broken, so he has to refine us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. This threefold cord is not easily broken. Amen. Oh, glory to God. This What makes this cord stronger is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost and God are in this cord. You are, and you are, oh Lord, I'm just going to tell you something, don't, don't, don't get a big head about it, but God intends to use you in this threefold cord. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but he has to bring you through the fire. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, come on, I need somebody to say Amen. He's bringing us through this fire, and this fire is not to consume you. Because I just told y'all in Hebrews 12, 29, that God is a consuming fire. People say, I want to get close to God. Yeah, I do too. And I want to get closer than I am now. But he is a consuming fire. He's hot. He's hot. He is hot. <laughs> God is hot. We can be hot. There you go. God is consuming fire. You remember when 
Isaiah, you remember Isaiah was called by God. He said, I'm a man of unclean lips. You don't, you don't mean to call me. <laughs> right. <laughs> said, I've been, I, you know, I've been this place. God said, well, I can use you. And what's the first thing God did? I'm going to ask him that. What's oh, the first thing? Hit you. Oh, he mm -hmm. put this burning coal. Mm -hmm. It wasn't to destroy Isaiah. It was to, to make him holy. Right. To bring him purification. To right. refine him. Mm -hmm. People are going to tell you today that there's no uh, refining going on. But I'm here to tell you that God is still refining us. That's right. He's still bringing us through. Mm -hmm. he, he intends for us to be as pure as gold. He intends for us to be a core in this three core situation. Oh, I feel good. I'm going to quit when it's getting good. How you like that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just going to do it. We only got an hour. Mm -hmm. This three uh, chord, what is it? Threefold. Three, Threefold chord. If you look in the dictionary, it'll tell you that one chord will hold something. Uh, two chords would hold a little bit more, but when you put three together, it'll hold an anchor. It'll hold the anchor. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. It'll hold that anchor to the solid rock. Amen. Amen. So who is the solid rock? His name is Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, he's the one. That's right. We are to be held to the the uh, solid rock, the solid foundation, mm -hmm. amen. And this cord is holding us there, but it's also refining us because we're so close to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, I feel good about this day. I'm not, I don't know about you, are you not it? Y'all not it? The cord, you're not it. Y'all, you right, you're right there with it. This is called, they talk about not as being married. And God uses this as a, a, a fine example of uh, being married. He says, one can do something, but I put two of y'all together. And then he says, three, if you got three, you got, you got something good. So I'm married with God. He told Adam, he says, it's not good to be alone. Right. It's not good to be good one core. So I'm going to give you somebody, amen, I'm going to give you another one, hallelujah, because I want to show uh, Pastor Hoyle uh, back in, in 2000, uh, December 3rd, 2022, I want to show somebody in 2022 that I'm going to be with you, but it may not necessarily be easy. Oh, God, you may be on fire sometimes. Hallelujah. But the world around you are going to see me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So don't think like people say, oh, that it's all a bed of roses. It is good because you're tied in with God. You're tied in with him. Hallelujah. You, you, all his promises you are eligible to receive. Right. Hallelujah. But, it, but it's still a problem. Hallelujah. It's a burning fire. It's a consuming fire. Mm -hmm. All the things that you did yesterday, you may not want to do tomorrow. Hallelujah. That's proof of it. Sometimes he, we're asleep. And he puts us uh, he's burning stuff off while we sleep. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. You do it while I sleep. Well, it's oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So, I'm done. But it's important, this reconcile, reconciliation work of God, the reconciliation. God is not only reconciling the world to himself, the Bible says. He's reconciling us to himself mm -hmm. so that we can do the work. But see, we, we are seated together in Christ. We don't own, we don't own the seat. Uh, we are functioning from the sea. Hallelujah. We're, we're functioning from a holy place. And that holy place is next to God. God is a consuming fire. But I want to tell you, it's going to be so good. Hallelujah. When we get to that place. Hallelujah. And we're going to be.
to be able to stand in his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our name has been written in the book of remembrance that we're going to be able to stand in this holy place. Hallelujah. Amen. Say thank you. Hallelujah. You brought me over. Oh, the rugged. <laughs> you were my shining light. It was so clear. Even though I fell sometimes through your will, you did not leave me. Hallelujah. He has never leave you. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. But he blessed me still. He's blessing us as we go through this body. Oh, and I love what this LeBron said. He said, the boys was in the fire. Oh, glory to God. Three, the Hebrew boys. What, the three of them? Three, three of them. Yeah, right. That's right. And then now he says, but I see another one. Yeah. He's refining us. Ah, that fire turns into, that man-made fire turns into God's fire. God can use man's situations. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. To refine, you refine them boys. Hallelujah. Because you tell me, tell me about it. He said, they all right. He's, he said, they all right. They're on the right track. They told the king, they said, you know what? We ain't going to worship you. Right. <laughs> right. He said, put you in the fire. Yeah. He said, go ahead, put me in the fire. <laughs> oh, he didn't know that that was God's fire. Hallelujah. That God was in there to refine us fire. So whatever we're going through, we're going to make it through. Hallelujah. We're going to come out on the other side. That's pure gold. He looks for, he wants us to be pure gold. Isn't it something now? Nebuchadnezzar, knowing nothing, but he looks in fire and says, One, it looks like the Son of God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my God. He didn't know nothing oh, about nothing. Come on. The Son of God. What's the Son of God look like? Oh, man, yeah. man, man, That's right. But we yeah. got venom scorching going now, right now. That's right. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can go somewhere. Glory to God because God is refining us. Amen. The son said, He's refining us. He's young. I tell you, God is in the process of refining us. Yeah. All right. So, I think I'm ready. I think I said what I need to say. All right. I got anybody? Right, sick. Anybody so want to listen? That day we talked in army. All right. Anybody? God knows you listen to what we're saying. Maybe up there in heaven. I don't remember. You all talking that day. It got me to the Lord. We don't know. That's right. Amen. Amen. We don't Hallelujah. Know. Anybody sick? Let the one I want to pray for you. I, I need you. Right. I'm sick, but I always ask. Yes, sir. Touch me. Ron, you come up. I need it. Get on up there, Ron. I am. Can you say something real quick about the fire of God? Yes. The fire of God burns, and it burns the bad, but it ignites the good. Oh, yeah. So you have to remember that. Like when you get prayed for, God's burning bad, but he's igniting the good. Because he put his word in you, and it's going to quicken. And that's one thing that people, like a lot of young people, they get scared working with young people. And I'm like, you don't have to be afraid of the fire of God. Because, yes, it's going to burn the bad, but it's going to ignite the good. Also. All right. So just to share that with you, okay, Devante? Because ignite the good and burn the bad. I'm saying, thank you, for, thank you for that. Hallelujah. It ignites the good. Ignites the good. The good. Hallelujah. God is all good. That's why. Come on, Ryan. Come on up. Oh. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Uh. Come on up, Bria. Norman. Come on. All right, my father. Heavenly Father, we. Hallelujah. God, we know we don't know it. Both of God, but we know of the man of God, God, that we need your support right now. Hallelujah. 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 H
any death wish that he was saying he wished he was dead kind of
in Jesus. Okay, so what do power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases uh -huh. strength. Yeah. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. The young man shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they 
We're walking now. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your word that's been brought forth here today, Lord. We thank you for our new guests that are here and hope that they are blessed being here, Lord. We, we just thank you that you've been amongst us here today. And Lord, as we leave here, let us leave with joy. And Lord, let us study your word that we might grow in faith because it is, it's the faith that heals you too. Yeah. Yes. Without faith, you won't be here. Without faith, you will not get to heaven. And faith comes by hearing your word, Lord. So Lord, I just ask that you will get all these people to turn to your word even more, Lord, that they will hear from you and that they will be blessed. You say, blessed is a man who hears or who reads the words of this book. You said, Lord, that we're to get this line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. So, Lord, encourage us all, always, through your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 I just want to know, does anybody sitting here, does anybody have a question about the Lord in Jesus? Everybody sing. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Another good day in the house of the Lord. <laughs> 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 